This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Well, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, this is the day that the Lord, <clears throat> that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So much for us to be thankful for, despite uh, anything that may be going on to the contrary of what we would like to go on. This is still the day that the Lord has made and he's been blessing us. He's, he's merciful, gracious, and we ought to thank him for another day yet in the land of the living. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bible study Wednesday, um, the 10th, what is this? The 11th day, uh, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11th day of uh, October 2023. Thank you so much, those of you, Cobb Bethel AME Church, yes, uh, family and friends, enemies, whomever, uh, would choose to view this particular uh, session uh, when you do uh, our Bible study and apply it to your life. Thank you so much, amen, for uh, your attendance in uh, listening to this particular session. And we are in Colossians. I want to pick up where we left off the third chapter of Colossians around the uh, ninth or so verse. Amen. Praise the Lord. Third chapter of Colossians, around about the ninth or uh, around the ninth verse. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our Father, we come thanking you once again, O oh Lord, for your grace, your mercy. Thank you for being the matchless God that you are. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your compassion, oh Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness towards us. Thank you for the most uh, uh, wonderful and perfect gift that we could ever receive uh, was the gift of your darling son, Jesus Christ. Oh, Heavenly Father, that offers us, offered us a right to the tree of life, and through our faith in him, we can lay hold to eternal life. We thank you, O oh God, for his example, for the gospel, O oh God, and we ask that you would manifest yourself in your word to us as we study your word, O oh, Heavenly Father. Help us, O oh God, to be better for our empowered to go out into the hedges, the highways, to wherever we go, O oh, Heavenly Father, in all of our busy walks of life and to under anyone that we come in contact with. Help us, O oh, Heavenly Father, to understand and be able, O oh God, to be empowered by you to spread the word. O oh, Heavenly Father, the living gospel, liberating living gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Colossians, amen, which we believe that it's a Paulinian writing and that uh, came from uh, writers of Paul or Paul himself. Amen, praise the Lord. In the very first, in the first eight verses, I'm going to read the first eight verses. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Third chapter, first verse of Colossians. Colossians 3 in the first verse. If then ye be risen, he be risen. Mm -hmm. If then, if ye then, if ye then, 
be risen with Christ. If ye be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Things that are above, not things on the earth. Set your affection on things above, not things on the earth. Third verse. For ye are dead, and your life is hid in Christ. No longer in the world. We're hidden in Christ now. All right, hidden in Christ, yes. We're, we're, we're captivated, buried in him. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Yes, and that time is coming. Fifth verse, mortify. Kill off. Cut off, discontinue the life. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, mm. inordinate affection, evil com concupiscence, uh, and covetedness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh upon children of disobedience. Yes, so if you're a child of disobedience, you get what you get from the wrath of God. In the which ye also walked sometime when ye lived in them at one time. That's where we were, right? But now, where we are, ye also put off all these like anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication. Hmm, filthy communication. Tough one for some people. But you ought to be able to do it. You should have done it. Out of your mouth. Oh, this gives it to us plain. This is how Christians ought to be. I try to preach and teach from Bible study how we ought to be. That's what got to be preached and taught. How we ought to be. Ain't no need of us sugarcoating things. Ain't no need of us trying to say, well, but. In no, there's no wells and buts. Just do it like the Nike commercial says. Let us just do it. Paul is spelling it out here in the scripture. Uh, in Colossians, as he does, as, as it's spelled out in many other parts of the Bible, in his letters, the gospel, and all, all other parts of the Bible, and here we're studying it in Colossians. Telling us the same type of thing that a lot of other scriptures are telling us. Trying to get us, beseeching us, to live as children of God. How do we live as children of God? What are some of those things we don't do? In verse number 9, let's continue. Verse number 9, we're picking up where we left off. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian nor Scythian, uh, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. The ninth, tenth, and eleventh verse. Starting this, this, this Bible study tonight, this evening, lie not to one another. That's so simple, isn't it? I, I'm not even going to say any more about that. You, you, we, we, lie not to one another. Lie not to one another. Seeing that you have put off the old self, lie not to one another. You brought the old self and the deeds of the old self. We put on the new man in, in the 10th verse, which is renewed. Uh, in knowledge after the image of him that created him you know we were created in the image of god mm -hmm. gave us dominion over all things uh -huh. made us rulers like him created in his image rulers like him to act like him to behave like him not image looking like him but behaving like him personally uh, 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 not, not, uh, 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 it's, it's not the look of the man. It's what the man does mm. in the image. What your actions is a splitting image of Christ, or rather of God, this time it's of God. And, and, and we were to be uh, over, uh -huh, God placed us over, um, gave us dominion over all things, and uh, that that he has, he was the, the uh, one who created us and gave us this, and we have renewed knowledge in him. After that, we have renewed knowledge after that he's made us. We have knowledge renewed. Where it doesn't make no difference who we are, Jew, Greek, uncircumcised, circumcised, man, woman, boy, girl, whatever we are. 
all the same in God's eyes and sight. One is no better than the other, no more than the other one will receive nothing more than the other one. No respect of person. Hmm. No circumcision, no uncircumcision. Doesn't matter whether you circumcised or not. Doesn't matter. The physical thing. Doesn't matter. So whether you Jew, Greek, barbarian, whatever you are, sick. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Scythian. Bond. Free. Christ in all. Christ is all and in all. Wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Doesn't stop Christ from being whatever, whoever you are. Since that's the case, in his image, in God's image, renewed in knowledge after that image, we've put on the new man, the new person, the new being. That's what we've done. We're not the same as we were before. I know you, you keep saying that, but that's what we got to teach. People aren't getting it. You cannot be the same. Brothers and sisters, are y'all listening? Darlings, brothers and sisters, friends alike. You cannot be the same. You are renewed. You are renewed. You are renewed. You are a new creature. That's all over the Bible. New creature. Hmm. Now, put on the new, which is renewed in knowledge, renewed huh, in the knowledge that you were first created to be. Hmm. In the image of God that you were first created and given dominion huh? and given the reins. We go back to that. We renew to that point. The image was destroyed by sin. It ain't my, my, no matter how you look at it. In order to get back to that image, you have to be renewed. <laughs> renewed. You have put on the new. My God, my God. Hmm. We don't have step. Huh? Huh? We don't run around sinning and cussing each other out. Falling into all the kinds of iniquity. Running with the bad crowds and doing what they're doing. We don't do that. Cussing, fussing, fighting. We ain't doing it. Because we're renewed. New. Lord, help us, help us, help us. Hmm. Twelfth verse. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, oh my God, against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Look at that 12th and 13th verse. My God, I got, I got to just say it. We got to preach it and teach it and Bible study over and over and over. Keep going with it. People don't get it. People don't get it. People don't get it. Don't get it. If you are not willing to do it, you're not a child of God. I'm sorry. Ain't no need of us sugarcoating. Children of God will. No children, not children of God won't. Hmm. I can't, I can't, I can't. But those who are not children of God will say, but I can. Yes, and I am what children of God will say. But children, not no children of God, I can't. 12 and 13th verse. Let me read it again. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved. Bowels of mercies. You need to have bowel of We know our bowels are inside, what we contain in our stomach, in our inside, in intestines, what we have in us. Mercy is supposed to be in us. Kindness in us. Humbleness of mind, that's how we think. We're humble. We don't think of ourselves to be more than we are. We don't think of ourselves to be something we're nothing. We don't think that way. Meekness. Meekness. Oh, my God. We use tact when we talk to people. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Meekness. Oh, my goodness. Not harsh. Meek. Not blowing hot air 
Oh, 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 oh. But meekness. Yes, how are you? Yes. What was that? I'm willing to learn. Show me. Long suffering. No matter what's going on, I'm willing to move. I'm willing to keep going. I'm willing to suffer for the word of God. I'm willing to suffer for eternal life. I'm willing to suffer to be Christ's disciple. Long suffering. Whatever's going on, yes, I'm going to hold on. Even if I have to suffer. Forbearing one another. Hmm. Wow. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Forbearing and forgiving. Forbearing and forgiving. Forbearing and forgiving. Hmm. We know what forgiving is. Uh, so I, we, we forgive you for it. Right? We're not going to hold it against you. Praise the Lord. What is forbearing one another? Oh, my goodness. Forbearing one another. Maybe you couldn't. Or didn't. I'm not going to hold it against you. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe later. Maybe you can some other time. Grace I'm going to have upon you. It's the same thing God does with forbearing us. You know, when you get a forbearance, you know, they put time back. You know, if you owe somebody and it's a forbearance period, that means you get a chance to recover. Maybe you don't have it. You get a forbearance period and it picks up later. Same thing with us and dealing with one another. Not able now? Couldn't do it now? Oh, no problem. No problem, my brother and sister. No problem. No problem. I didn't get what I thought I was going to get. No problem. Mm, no problem. I forgive you. Mm. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't on something. But I forgive you. Let's move on. I ain't going to hold it against you. Not going to come up. Ain't got it on my mind all the time. Not going to hold it against you. Let's move on. God bless you. Let's go. Mm. Mm. If any man have a quarrel against any. You're going to forgive in the court. You're going to forgive and you're going to forbear. You're going to forgive and you're going to forbear. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So we're supposed to be the same. We're going to do the same thing as, as, as Christ did. And as you know, I like to read sometimes uh, other writers, an amplified version the writer puts it this way. In the amplified version, that 12th and 13th verse, Hebrews 3rd chapter, 12th and 13th verse, he, another writer puts it this way in the amplified. So, as God's own chosen people, that's the elect, right, who are holy, it means you're set apart, sanctified for his purpose, and well-beloved, right? God loves you mm -hmm, by God himself. Put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, mm -hmm. which has the power to endure whatever injustice or unpleasant comes with good temper. Yeah, with good temper. Oh, my goodness. Bearing graciously with one another. That's the forbearing part. Uh -huh. And willingly forgiving each other if one has a cause for a complaint against another. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you should forgive. Well, pretty good, ain't it? Hmm. Are you doing it? A lot of folks struggle with that part. I don't know why. If you're a child of God, shouldn't be no struggling. We don't struggle. No, we ain't doing that. We're going to do it. Like the Nike commercial said, just do it. Love, forgive, forbear, gracious, forbear. Be gracious to one another. Forbear. Give them time. Forbear. Don't bring it up. I forgive you. I'm not going to bring it up. I forgive you for it. Something. Huh? I'm going to live peaceably with you as much as lies within me. I'm going to live peaceably with you. Yes, I am. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. This is rich. 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 Lord, how much? Rich. Knowledge. 
rich understanding. This is rich in, 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 in everything in the word of God. Where there is neither Jew nor Greek, circumcision nor uncircumcision. Then it says, put on, therefore, as the elect of God, the chosen people of God, holy and beloved of God himself. Bowels of mercy. That's what's in us, in our hearts, as otherwise, in our hearts. That's what, what's in you, right? Bowels is what's in you. Oh, my goodness. Kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness. Just imagine how our church, our congregations would be. Let me say it that way. Our congregations would be if those of us that profess to be Christians behaved in this manner. Huh? We have different, different, a, different DNA. So, yes, we could agree and disagree. We could have a quarrel. But it says don't. So we want to nip it in the bud. We don't want a quarrel. But if it happens, we're going to be gracious with one another. We're going to forgive one another. Forbear one another. Hmm. Yes, we are. We're going to be kind, humble, meek, mild. Oh, my, my, my. It ain't going to get the best of us. And we ain't going to carry it on. No, 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 no. Christians are not going to do it. If you don't, something is missing in that so-called Christian heart of yours. Missing something. Missing something. It ain't what, it ain't what you say it is. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just that's what I want. I'm teaching. Just do it. The Bible doesn't say in here. Try to have mercy. Try to be kind. Try to be humble and meekness. Forbearing one. Try to forbear one another, if you can. Not what it says. Not what it says. Not what it says. Only time I see uh, where, 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 where Paul alludes to, to you trying to do something is, 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 is when you're trying to just get along with everybody. Because some folks just ain't going to let you get along with them. They don't allow you to. So you're not going to get along with everybody. But you try as much as lies in you. When you're doing far as you can go, uh, you, you, you're trying to get along with them. You might not be successful. Because <laughs> you know, it takes, in order to get along with them, they have to allow you to. Mm -hmm. They don't have to allow you to love them. They don't have to allow you to be kind and have meekness. People don't have to allow you to have that. You just got that. God give you that. Loving. Ain't nobody can do nothing to stop you from loving them. Nothing. Ain't nothing they can do about it. Kindness, meekness, long-suffering, forgiving. Can't nobody stop you from doing that. Mm. My, my, my. Nobody can stop you from doing it. Now, for just getting along with somebody, yes, they can stop you from doing it. Yeah, they can hold it where well, they just ain't going to allow it. As much as lies within you to get along with these, some of these, some folk. That just ain't, they just, they just, they just, they just, they just, they just ain't. Quarrelsome all the time. Confrontational all the time. They're in the congregation. I didn't say in the church. They're not in the church. They're in the congregation. They're in the building, the church building, but they're not in the church. No, they're not in the church. The church is in us. We're the church. They are not in the church. The body of Christ is the church. They are not in the church. They're in your congregation. Membership in the physical church building. Mm -hmm. The group, the congregation. Yes, they're in that. And it's difficult to get along with some of them. Try as much as in you, according to the Bible. But 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 this stuff, you know, trying in it along. So they don't say try here. No no no. No, you got to be this. Forbearing one another, uh, one another, us us. How we treat one another? Christians treating Christ. Yes, that's what this refers to. Oh my goodness. Hmm. In the fourteenth verse, or rather, we just read the twelfth and thirteenth verse. Yeah. In the fourteenth verse, and above all these things, put on charity which is the bond of perfectness. Put on charity. I got to say something about this part. Put on charity. Uh-huh. Put 
on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. My, 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 my. Mm. My, my, my. Mm. Mm. Now, mm. John said, uh, uh, wrote that Jesus said in the 13th chapter of John, the 34th verse, a new commandment I give unto you. It really wasn't new. He said new, but that's another Bible study. That ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Mm -hmm. By this, all men will know you are my disciples. So love, love, love. That's the dispensation we're under now. We're under grace. And now it's all about love. It's all about love. Because if we love, it causes us to do all the rest of those things. It causes us not to rob our I ain't robbing nobody I love. Truly love. Hmm. Hmm. We're talking about the godly love. We ain't, we ain't talking about that, 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 that manly earthly stuff. We're talking about godly love. That, that when, when, when Jesus, Jesus talked about his kind of love. You don't rob and steal and, and make, kill and shoot and, 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 and all this kind of stuff with, folk, with who you love. Some folks not loving, they ain't capable of love. They're incapable right now. They need their heart fixed, mind regulated. Mm. So they're telling you all these things, B. We read these. Lie not to one another. Put on the new man. Renew the knowledge. Uh, there's no Jew that uh, uncircumcision or not and all that. Put on the elect of God, your holy and beloved. Mercies, kindness, humbleness. In your mind, long suffering, meekness, man, forgive one another, forbear one another. Mm, if it happen, quarrel happens to break out, mm, as Christ forgave us. And then above all of that stuff, in the first 13 verses, he done told us all of this. Uh huh. Because we're dead and hid in God, oh my God, in Christ, with Christ in God. Mm, we appear like him. Put away fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil compuses, and then uh, uh, covetousness, idolatry, which is idolatry. Uh huh. Set your sights on things above, not on things in, the, in heaven. Or just read all this. No wrath, anger, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication. Yes, yeah, filthy communication. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filthy. Communication, yes, lying, cheating, uh, not cheating and lying, stupid. Now that's one of the other categories. But but cussing, slandering, slandering is filthy communication. As far as I'm concerned, that's I, I think that could be included. But you but but certainly this 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 word choice we have using these words. But all of this, all of this. Then he finally wraps in 14th verse, and above all of that. All of these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Charity is love in action. We know this. We know this. We know this. Love in action. You can say love all you want until it's in put in action is not charity. That's why they call these uh, organizations charitable because they're acting. Hmm. We need to act on the love we're supposed to have and call it charity. If you're not acting, there's no charity. King James Version says, uh, 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 you have faith, you have these three, uh, 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 these three and charity. Uh, 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 the greatest of these is charity. And other 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 princes use the word love. Other other charity is the right. Yes, that's why I like my King James version a lot of times. And every charity means means love, and not just love, but put it in action. I got love. I love. I love. I love. I love. No action. I love. I love. I love. I love my church. I love my preacher. I love my my fellow Christians, and I love my mom and my dad. And I love all these, and I love and ain't doing nothing. Wouldn't come across the street. Don't go see him. 
talking about? Oh my goodness. But you love. Them. So the Bible says charity, love in action. That's a good way to think of it, right? Charity, love in action. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Love in action. I know you can't talk back to me, but you will be. I ain't love and above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Ooh, oh my goodness. The bond of perfectness. Because if we love and we show it, uh-huh, toward one another, uh-huh, then that is a togetherness, uh -huh, collection gathered together as one. That's your bond. And uh, hearts loving in action makes us perfect. Yes, it does. In heart. I'm not saying that you're going to turn left. You ain't going to turn left and you meant to go right. It's not what I'm saying. You ain't going to be perfect like that. But in your heart towards one another, oh, yes. The bond of perfectness. Oh, my God, my God. My God, my God, the bond of perfectness. Mm, mm, love, charity. You remember what it says about charity in 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 1 Corinthians. We all know it, though I speak and in, 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 we know the whole thing. We, we just about to do all 13 verses without reading. Though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels and have not charity, mm, I am come as Sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal, right? Then it goes on. Although I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, it goes on. In my charity, I have nothing. It goes on. Thirteen verses of it. Because you have to have action attached to what you call love. If you love, it'll cause you to act. Just like if you got faith, it'll cause you to act. Faith causes you to act, therefore you have works, because faith causes you to work. Mm -hmm. Works will prove your faith. Charity will prove your love. Oh, 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 they're used synonymously, but they're really different. Love is the, is the noun. You make Charity makes it a verb, because it puts the noun in action. Well, that's me explaining it the way I like to explain it. Okay. You do how you want to explain it, but make sure that you got the general point. You have to have action for it to be charity. Got to have action. Got to have action on that love in order for it to be charity. And above all things, put on charity. Mm. And let the peace of God, Ooh, at the end of all of this, it just makes you feel so good. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. To the which also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful. He just wraps it. Oh my God. The peace of God in your heart. Can't you sustain oh, every, you, you can, everything when you got the peace of God in your heart? Hmm. Hmm. My, 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 Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Praise the Lord. All right. We'll pick up the rest of that uh, 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 verses. We'll do uh, some more uh, next time on next week. Yes, yes. It's let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts, to the Lord. That's just so wonderful. I do that all the time. I'm so glad I'm in accord with the scripture because that's what it'll make you do. Your faith and, 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 and situations in life and things come up, that's what it'll have you doing. The word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. The Bible, what you read, teaching and admonishing one another. We'll do it to one another. See, this is how our, our relationship ought to be as Christians. In Psalms and hymns. Oh, my goodness, singing songs and hymns together. Oh, my God, if someone is sick, if someone is going through something, if, 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 if there's a crisis or anything, 
Oh, we show our, our togetherness and our love. That's why charity comes in. Love and action. Giving to one another. We're going to talk about the word of God back and forth to one another. That's going to just, 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 just make us feel so good that somebody is sharing with us. Teaching one another, admonishing one another hmm, in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with praise in your hearts to the Lord. Oh, oh my goodness. I know my time is up. I know I, the, the attention span folk don't want to hear, hear you say talk too long, but oh my goodness. Hmm. Hmm. And whatsoever ye do, in word of do you do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Oh my goodness. Well, let's pick that back up. We're going to get into some wives and husbands. Oh my goodness. Wives and husbands. Oh my goodness. Tune in, tune in. That's the part some people like to say, but they don't know what it really means. That's the part that some men like to say. They don't really know what it means. We use one little verse, part of a verse, and run off with it. We're going to study. We're going to take it apart this next week. We're not going to just read it and run off with it. Mm. Mm. My, my, my. We'll pick it up and finish the chapter on next week. Amen. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for Colossians. We thank you for the writers. We thank you for your inspiration, O Heavenly Father, to them that wrote your, the word in your good book. We thank you, O God, for our hearts and our minds that stayed on you. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We ask, O God, that I will continue to manifest yourself in your word to us. O Heavenly, help us, O God, to be the type of Christians and friends to one another as you would have us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, my, 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 my. I'll be back with you next week with the conclusion of the third chapter of Colossians. Oh, it's going to be a good one. Oh, my, my, my. Praise the Lord.